All right, what's going on? Welcome to the gameplay or whatever. Here we've got 100% on the campaign, 100 on the chaos theory. Let's go to the challenge and go to Canada and turn it to the Jurassic difficulty and get Jurassic kick, they say. You made it! Welcome to Canada. Now this is a coastal reserve that's been abandoned, but it's a great opportunity to establish yourself as a bona fide park manager. Hmm? Oh, and uh, do check out the entire site, because you may well find something that can bring in the masses. Hmm? Now this isn't my first time to this rodeo, so we're going to talk about what I, I am going to do. I pause right away. And we're going to look at our spreadsheet. It's over here. See, the scientists' wages are low, but that may not be completely accurate. So let's go in here and look at our scientists. They're at 90 some thousand. That's incredible. I've got somebody who's twos across the board who gets a ton of money. We might be able to recruit a new scientist for small amount and ditch her monthly wage or this huge monthly wage and try because these scientists there's some in here who get a hell of a lot less these hundred and let's see if we can't find a cheap one this person right here is probably a lot cheaper than those other two though a two two and a one. Ninety thousand is a lot to spend on your scientists. So let's see again. He's got two, two, one, and we could get rid of four. I feel like we will get rid of her and get that other one right now. We need to bring down the amount of money we spend each year or each month. And we'll go with him. He seems to be the cheapest. Yep. And there's his cost. It's a quarter of what hers was. Now our bill is way down. Now we need to... We've spent some money to get him and change that out. But it'll pay off in the long run, I think. What we will next need to do is put in a pin here. And kind of consider for the amenities... We're going to put in a, let's just go ahead and put these things in while we talk about them, leaving this thing paused. All right, so here's a hatchery. We're going to build a pen over here with a hope that our amenities, because we're going to build it right along and right up to this border. We want to give these dinosaurs plenty of room, but we don't want them hiding away from like the guests too much because then they can't see them and don't like it. Sizable enough. We'll throw a gate in. We've got to research everything, so we better start out with herbivores. And this pen won't need too much more other than it'll need a little water. And it'll need some ground leaf for certain. And this is not cheap, but better to put it in now so you can just throw your herbivores in. Now, what else do we need? We will need, for certain, a science center. Which we'll put here. And we'll need... A backup generator for now. And let's just get to it. Let's turn it back on. Let it all start happening. Here's kind of what they want you to do, of course. Um, down here, start connecting these paths. And as that fence over there builds, we will work towards getting some dinosaurs going in the park immediately.
and they're going to come in the form of Struthiomimus and Nasutoceratops. Struthiotes, they're cheap, easy to do, and the Nasutoceratops require a little bit more, but we've got them both. So, let's see if we can get this stuff done with our new scientists. There's our Nasutoceratops, and we're going to try and research these things right here. Staff busy. We may not. We do. I think we've got about everything we need. Hopefully. I want to we'll know better about one thing if we go look here. Because we ultimately need to end up being able to make these, and it does, does not tell us what we need. Alright, the fence is done, and they need to cook now, and four of them in the pen would be pretty sweet. 630,000 for the four of them. Do we save half the money and only put two of them in there for now, though? I feel like it's a must and we can't help it. All right. Let that get underway. There's nothing else. We'll turn it up. Just let it happen. Everything else is kind of on hold as we blow our money on this. And the money is going to drop pretty quickly, so we need to get animals out on the ground and people coming to the park to see them. Okay. Asset collection request received. Now, to be bringing people in, we're going to go in here and start in with these. And while they do that, we'll go see if we can't get some Struthios underway. Yes. Let her sequence those. And at 2 million, we're halfway through our money. Let's speed this back up. She's ready on the sequence dinosaur. Only three. They would want more in with them. And I kind of would too. The research is coming along. Asset transportation complete. I'm Dr. Right, Struthios are ready. I'm a scientist. Some might call me an artist, a sculptor. My sculptures are living, breathing dinosaurs. Do you see any resemblance between the Nasutoceratops and modern-day cattle? Look closely at the horns and their relation to the eyes. It's clear to me that as we bring these animals back to life, the connections between the past and the present sharpen, and along with it, our understanding. This is what my science is all about. The shape of animals does not denote the fact that they're related to each other in the least. And Henry, as a scientist, ought to know that is evolutionary convergence and nothing else. Now that's in. We should have guests starting to appear. And when this is done, all right. don't really want to continue making these as they cost money and we need to continue to hurry on our research to here and we need this now I don't know if we got what it takes to do these staff busy 
because we need a response facility and we need a paleo medical facility terribly bad guests are just now arriving we need to be hitting them up as soon as they're off the plane or whatever they show up on for food Delivery complete. hey my name is Isaac Clement and it's great to finally meet you I hope you're ready because the dinosaurs can't wait to meet you too they don't want to meet me too soon. Look at an ostrich or emu, then look at this latest dinosaur, the Struthiomimus, and tell me you don't see a connection. This is one of the more bird-black dinosaurs that we've brought back from extinction. It literally has a beak instead of teeth. It's an herbivore that prefers to move in herds. Overall, a fantastic addition to the park. Confirming asset delivery. All right, and we need shopping and bathrooms are done. Let's get that in here. Emergency shelter. They've got to have it, they say. Can't get enough of them. Shopping. Yep. Man. It's already sick. They've been fighting. Healing. These things are ready to go, and then we can shut this thing off and kind of slow down the power usage around here. Just continue spinning things around, and we need to be researching this. And one sick dinosaur. We can't hardly afford to have sick. Let's speed this up and we'll find out if we can even afford the uh, research we've got to do. Asset has been transported. Okay. We sure as hell can. And I don't care if you people are the most disgruntled workers on the planet. You can get to work right now. I gotta put this thing out in their pen. We gotta send the response team out there and check on these dinosaurs. I have poor, sad, sick dinosaurs. I don't have the response facility in though. Man, we've got to get Asset this accomplished. Asset being transported. And in just a second, this thing is going to start eating our money. Watch this. That's a big chunk. Now we can't hardly pay for what's going to come out of the research except for they're already halfway through it Transportation okay complete. allow me to introduce myself I'm Dr. Kajal Dua I'm something of a perfectionist and I demand it in others. Oh, to 6%. So I, I don't know that we can get best. there. I just wanted to make that clear. Oh. Yeah. And welcome. This is difficult. I'm counting on you to handle this next objective. Don't let me down. 
this is something park rating is looking fairly good, important but it could be looking better hopefully this will help bring in a few more guests and man difficult we're running low on money but look at this oh we can do it it needs to be closer they say fine whatever it's got to be we're low on money Well, don't you guys worry. Yeah, I say we fire her. And while we're at it, let's fire him. See you guys in hell. That may have been a huge mistake. The dinosaurs are doing their thing. And we're actually making money. Urgent message coming in. Reclaim parts. Gain 25,000. 25%. I don't know what's going on there. Here comes the storm. Maybe. Well, I mean, we are making money now that I've gotten rid of the scientists. Let's take another look at the spreadsheet. We're making almost a hundred grand a minute over the top. So if we can do that for a little while, we can buy. We can we can get some more scientists when the need comes. But right now. Because, I mean, you can see the difference. You saw the difference. They were 30-some thousand apiece where some of these scientists, though the ones that are left to recruit are more expensive. I mean, are they any better? I don't know that that's the case. But I don't know what else we need. And by that time, hopefully we'll be able to train our scientists up. You get a fight between dinosaurs out there, but we are making money. So, let's say we're in a good place to stop for now. And uh, I guess I'll thank you for watching this part. And hopefully, we can move on with some success into the next parts because this is not easy and this is going to come up and say that I need to heal these things and that I don't have um, scientists enough to do it injury and hopefully this injury is nothing more than a sprain painkillers should prove effective yep nothing nothing all right you guys take it easy and I will check out the Nasu Nasutoceratops <laughs> easy it's, it's so important not to forget that that's running like that. You guys take it easy, and I'll see you in another one.